The last time I went overseas, home to Ireland, I went home with a black eye. So, in keeping with uh, the tradition of injuring myself before travel, if you're a bit squeamish, you can look away now. with this project which is further in the future but I want to make a start on it so I can see how bad it's going to get because I expect it to get bad in terms of these cracks in the wall where you can actually see daylight in some places there I've got some stuff to squeeze into those cracks, so hopefully it'll stay together. Uh, but the project is to take that window out. We're getting a new window. It'll be raised a bit, because this will be a kitchen. It'll be raised and it'll be bigger overall. But this timber wall, I don't believe it's bearing any weight but I probably will uh, bolster it so that it can take some weight. The main reason I left it in place up to now is because these brackets all over the place are actually probably doing a lot to help this wall stay in place and not fall out. So for that reason, I'm going to leave as much of those, as many of those as I can in place, but I do have to take some out. But anyway, I'm getting way ahead of myself in touching this at the moment, but I'm in a position where there's nothing I can do on the bathroom until the electrician is finished and until the tiles come. So I'm standing here looking at what can I do, and I thought, I'll have a poke around with this. Today is Australia Day. Happy Australia Day. I bought some serious timber at Bunnings today. 600 bucks worth of structural stuff. I think it's overkill, but my brother is a bit of an expert in these things and he said overkill it so I'm overkilling it switch got stuck in the arm position probably because of all that fine dust this is also stuck in the arm position probably for the same reason That's what you get when you cut actual cinder blocks with actual cinder in them. <laughs> Pretty manky.
Uh, today's Friday and we're going to Ireland on Sunday so this morning I have done some tidying up and I tidied up the bathroom well sort of uh, made it look less like a work uh, like a building site um, but then it was only 12 o'clock in the afternoon so I thought now what am I going to do so I've started on this beam that's going over the window in the kitchen. Today I'm just getting it ready because we come home on the 10th of March, I think. And the new window is coming on the 14th. So I don't want to leave myself with a mountain of work to do when I come home from holidays. So if I can get a little bit done uh, to prepare, that, that's a good thing. I've put in the lintel. I've cut where the window is going to go. Both sides. I've taken out the timber. I've propped up the railway track. Uh, I have got some epoxy, epoxy squeezy to put in the major cracks but now this beam is going in across here on top of this stick and that stick and a couple of big red ones I've got as well put inside that wall I'm going to put it in such that it is actually up holding the concrete uh, I can't do well I can put some packing in up there of course but I've got to cut a notch out to get it up past the railway hopefully the notch doesn't uh, weaken the stick too much of course it doesn't it's 360 mils thick 360 mils deep and about 50 mil I think fat so it's a substantial piece. Oh, look at the view before we go. Let's compare that view with the view in Ireland next week. That's a nice view too, and it's not too cold, I think it's 12 degrees today. But that's, that's the front view at Rosie's house in Ireland, County Clare. There's the notch to accommodate the railway track. <coughs> the uh, beam is 60 mils thick and 360 deep. And it's uh, laminated so it is good and hard and heavy and strong.
Seen nurse Rosie. Ow. 